Due to Russia's invasion of Ukraine, the Russian driver Nikita Maspin has been replaced. But the Urukeli fallout from this split is just beginning. Due to the split, the team's contract with the Russian company Maspin and former title sponsor Urukeli were terminated. Haas faced an unsurprising legal challenge from Urukeli and by Maspin himself. The company's upheaval halfway through the preseason has been brewing since the initial response to Russia's Ukraine invasion. After removing Urukeli branding from its car and paddock facilities, the team ran its final day of Barcelona testing in a white livery. Due to its ownership by Dimitri Maspin, Urukeli sponsors Maspin in the team. One of Russia's wealthiest businessmen, he was invited by Putin to the Moscow Kremlin alongside 36 others on the day of the invasion on Ukraine and is believed to be close to the Russian president. Because of economic sanctions on Maspin's father and Urukeli, or logistical issues such as the Russians being denied entry into host countries or Russian licenses being banned, the likelihood of Maspin competing in Formula 1 this year quickly diminished. It was announced that Haas was terminating its sponsorship with Urukeli and that the team would be replacing Maspin. Now, Urukeli has responded by saying the termination is a unilateral. In a statement, it said it intends to protect its interests by applicable legal procedures and reserves the right to initiate judicial proceedings and demand reimbursement of significant amounts allegedly paid for the 2022 season already. The statement Euro Kelly issued claims that Haas' termination decision was unreasonable and that the company believes that the sport should be free from external influences such as politics and other things. According to Euro Kelly, most of its sponsorship had already been paid to Haas, which it claims has failed to fulfill its obligations to Euro Kelly. Therefore, Euro Kelly is demanding immediate reimbursement for Haas' sponsorship. Haas' contribution to the running budget was overestimated and his exit and demand for a refund are unlikely to present a threat to the future of the team. Gene Haas is immensely wealthy himself, but he has resisted spending more money on his team in recent years until Formula 1 made changes so the wealth is spread more evenly across the grid and the gap between the biggest teams closes. The Russian attack on Ukraine triggered a lot of intense criticism that was getting overwhelming for the team and its ability to cover any funding gap. That means he may need to repay Urukeli in the future. In this respect, he had probably decided to cancel the Urukeli deal, fully aware that it would lead to this kind of situation, because dealing with the financial and legal fallout is a better situation to be in. Maspin posted a statement on social media shortly after he was informed that he'd been dropped, expressing his disappointment and claiming Haas had not attempted to discuss a solution with him. Having indicated he would sign up on the conditions imposed by the FIA on Russian drivers, Haas was never given the opportunity to discuss that with him. During a press conference, Maspin provided additional detail about the situation. He said the FIA had told him he would not be removed from the Formula 1 team if he continues to race. The FIA has not banned Russian drivers from the competition, although national motorsport bodies like those in the United Kingdom, Sweden, Finland and Belarus have all explicitly suspended license holders and teams from Russia and Belarus. FIA denied the use of the Russian flag to the Russian competitors and required that they race in a neutral capacity instead along with signing a series of promises regarding their conduct concerning the war. When Maspin says he would never accept the conditions proposed, it's thought that that is what he had in mind. However, Maspin claims he hasn't heard from the team since he was axed. Maspin says he learned about the news as the FIA released its press release. He claims to have had no contact with team boss Gunther Steiner or Gene Haas. While Maspin stated he did not intend to take legal action on regaining his seat, it appears that his return to Formula 1 is blocked for the foreseeable future, even though he believes he would not need a different license to compete. He said it is good to keep all options open if he is asked if he would take the matter to the contract recognition board. Maspin said he does not want to go back to a place that does not want him and he no longer trusts Haas. Maspin said he did not want to criticise any team figures in the media, but if journalists contacted him directly, he would tell them what he thought of what happened. Besides some specific drivers that he named, including Sergio Perez, Carlos Sainz, Valtteri Bottas and George Russell, he has not received support from any prominent Formula 1 figure. 
Those who contacted Maspin to offer their support told him that there had been a very simple message of support when they had learned that I'd lost my drive. They were not political, it was something on a personal level. In the end, he has no plans to contest other Russian championships. As all his time and attention will be directed towards a fund he and Yuri Kelly have established. It is funded through the money Yuri Kelly once has to reimburse, plus the remaining sum of his extended 2022 Formula One budget. After a video emerged of him appearing to grab a woman's breast before his 2021 Formula One debut, Maspin had controversy before he finished a single race. While Haas continued to work with Maspin after that incident in late 2020 and through a lousy rookie year in which he was obliterated by teammate Mick Schumacher, he remained committed to them. Haas has since decided to re-sign former driver Kevin Magnussen for the 2022 season. Magnussen has fit in nicely scoring points in three of the four races for the team. He looks comfortable in the car and who knows what he may accomplish for the rest of the year. Keep up to date on all the major stories as the 2022 Formula 1 season takes place by liking and subscribing to the channel if you like what we're doing.